part of the reason I'm out today, like last week, clacking the bear and saying that sometimes it's hard to summon the enthusiasm to get out. But this morning, I was experiencing that again, I won't lie. But then just knowing that it's the 1st of September, which is start of meteorological autumn. It's not a, a way of viewing the seasons that a great many people subscribe to, I'll admit. Meteorolo me I can't even say it. Meteorologists, of course, like to. They call it meteorological autumn because the meteorological summer is June, July and August. The three, technically the three warmest months of the year and then the three coldest are obviously winter, which is December, January and February. And then you've got spring and summer, the, you know, the three months that fit in between. So it's one way of sort of viewing the seasons. Uh, I, did a, I did a piece for Walk Highlands last year about, you know, when does autumn start? And asked people on social media, on Twitter and Facebook and that, and when does autumn start for you? You know, is it a date? Is it something you're looking out for? Is it the 1st of September? For most people, it wasn't a specific date. There are people that follow sort of the astrological seasons. So, is it the 20... 1st, 22nd of September, whenever that is, but you know, this, the, uh, the, the equinox. Most other people who I asked are actually uh, following, although they wouldn't know it, it's a phenological, looking for signs of phenology, which is essentially how the natural world responds to climate and seasons and stuff like that. So it could be anything, it could be you know, the browning of the leaves, the swallows leaving for the, the winter, the first brambles coming out, the rowan berries on the trees. People had all kinds of things that they were looking for, on the lookout for. Everyone had like two or three. Most people had, nobody had, a few people had one thing that they were waiting for, but quite a few people were looking for a, sort of a small collection of things that indicated that autumn was coming then and autumn was here. Uh, for me, I think it's, it's not, um, there's, there's all kinds of signs that autumn's on its way, I suppose. But um, it's more a feeling, I think. And quite a few people did say that. Quite a few people saying it's a feeling, it's not any one thing. It's just this sense that autumn's here. Quite a few people said, you know, they, they related it to a sense of smell, you know. And I, can, I, understand, I know what they mean by that. I mean, it's when you go, there comes a point, usually, usually in September, when you get, you know, a nice straight northerly. And it's just that freshness. You can, I swear, you can smell snow on the breeze you know just and the, the air is so clear and it's just you walk out and, I, and i've had this when i've been walking around in the loman hills at home just on evenings or days like that and you'll have people that sort of walk past and they go oh it's like autumn autumn's here people just know is this, this this feeling that it's here the thing is you know when it's as bit uh tenuous as that the next day it could be gone it could be summer the next day i suppose um yeah, so everyone's got different things. I think the signs that I look out for, the things that help me to get the sense of autumn and how it's doing are, here yeah, the swallows leaving, sort of the summer birds going, um, the geese, well, that doesn't tend to happen until October, really. The geese, the pink-footed geese coming back from Iceland and Greenland. Um, the leaves, I suppose. But it could be, yeah, it's all, all kinds of things, but Certainly, even though I, I, I subscribe to the, the phenological idea of autumn, of seasons in general, I can't deny that when the 1st of September comes along, I'm, I'm looking for any excuse, quite frankly, to welcome autumn <laughs> to our shores. So the 1st of September, it could be a blazing hot summer's day. It's, it's fairly warm today and nice and sunny. But um, I do get quite excited and, and I, I can feel a sort of a spring in my step, even though it's not crisp cold frosty weather I can still feel it I can feel it coming and the landscape is definitely browning certainly up here there's still a bit of green and down below in Creef the leaves are green on the trees but there is browning of the trees going on as well the beech and the birch and the maple all seem to be starting to turn so that's a good sign it's very exciting 